I dyed my hair. I'm kidding, this is just for wig. But it's so weird, it's like you have a second hair on or something. It's my real hair color. Um, I'm not gonna dye my hair anymore. Like, back in my old days, I dyed my hair so many times. Because I hated myself, like, that, that was the only reason why I was dyeing my hair, and... Plus, I wanted to experiment. But I started when I was 14, and then I stopped when I was, um, 17? When I changed school, yeah. I was dyeing my hair for three years long, f*** me. Ew, that's so unhealthy. Don't dye your hair. It's just, it's not healthy. It's not good for your hair. Mm. Buy yourself wigs. I don't know. It's better because you can just take it off and have your real hair color. Okay, back to the video, I guess. I don't know why I'm drinking beer. Last day I drank champagne. I'm kind of all over the place. By the way, this is good. Like, this tastes good. I don't know why, but I love astrology. You know, tarot, like, pick a card, spirituality. I don't know. I don't know why. I just, I just feel attracted to it. And I don't mind it. So that's that. One thing to know about astrology is that you're not just only your sun sign. Also, there are like houses, you know. So I'm gonna talk about toxic zodiac signs, but like first I'm always gonna like, you know, read a story about them from an unknown person. Then I'm gonna give my own experience into it, but... <laughs> It's not just, it's not only gonna be about like toxic zodiac signs, but also zodiac signs that are uh, toxic. Okay, so first of all, I don't believe in that thing that, for example, a Gemini is a cheater, whatever. You know, there is like always two zodiac signs. For example, you know, there are two Leos, two Pisces, there's the Toxic Leo and there is the non-toxic Leo. I'm just gonna get into like the stories. I stumbled upon like this forum where people would like talk about their experiences um, with zodiac signs. I mean, it was so funny when I was reading it, even if there were like stories that were kind of like um, sad. We're gonna start with Aries. So, like, the first story is gonna be, like, okay, so, like, the title is How Do I Keep This Going? Okay, I don't know how old this is, so... I've been dating an Aries male for three months now, and I made a lot of mistakes. We made out on the first date and had sex on the second, simply because he was so irresistibly charming. Although he had to fight his way through it physically because I tried resisting him by giving out signals that I'm so tempted that he naturally won. Honeys, lovelies, whatever, listen to your gut feeling. If you have like this feeling like, oh, I shouldn't do it, just say no. Just say no, try to say no and get out of that situation, okay? We started contacting each other a lot and then he took me for granted which pissed me off so i stopped talking to him he came back a few days after apologizing what what like an apology is gonna make you weak like like you're just gonna take him back like that oh my god come on this one like when like she had to cut him off like i would have already cut that of like you know using me for sex take note that i am an independent woman who does not drop everything to make myself available for him a lot of times i would apologize for not being able to text back because i was too busy another aspect of this is he's chinese and i'm not since his family is traditional it is forbidden in their tradition for a chinese to date a non-chinese I'm the first known Chinese he dated, and this probably 
contributes to the excitement. This also became a problem because at some point I've demanded that he let me meet his friends who are from traditional conservative families too. So it happened again, me ignoring him for weeks and um, then him initiating contact and then we end up meeting them. <laughs> oh god, you guys are... I wish I've... I've read all about Aries before this. I should have put sex off every time we make up. Now how do I fix the obvious mistakes I did? Just cut him off, disappear. That's what I would have done, you know? Um, you can't go back to the past and fix things. Just, just leave it there where it is and just go, go and I don't know, um, work on your future. On your life. Okay, Aries. Um, so my mom is an Aries. Um, also one of my best friends. He's a guy. Um, he's also Aries. And I actually love Aries because they're just honest. And they... You know, they always want to be like... Um, I don't know. See you smile, be happy. Um, yeah, and they are funny as well. We're gonna move to Taurus. Um, this is gonna be a short story. I don't know why I like chose chose this. I don't know why I chose this, but it was like mm, interesting. Or I don't know what I was thinking when I chose this story. But okay, the title is Taurus Men and Food. I'm a man Taurus and. It, and it's totally true about the home-cooked meal and pretty much everything else. I love to eat, nothing complicated with too many ingredients and sauce. An odd testing food. To me, a seasoned steak, white rice, orange juice, or a Coke is great. He meant Coca-Cola, okay? Not, not the drug. Don't worry. I do like clothes and passionate sex. <laughs> okay, why is everybody about sex in these stories. My channel is becoming sexual now, all of a sudden. Okay, I should change it, like, I don't want it to be sexual. But I also enjoy getting on top and swimming it and hearing almost... I guess you can say this astrology stuff is true. It's good that this, this gentleman is into astrology. It's good, wow, you found a new passion for yourself. My little sister is a Taurus. Um, you know I love her. She's sometimes lazy though. But I think like she's also artistic. But I think Tauruses are also like artistic. And they are just these softies. Tauruses are also amazing because they are just like... They are so supportive. Toxic ones are... I, mean, I had a friend. A business school. She was kind of best friend. Um, that friendship didn't last for too long because <laughs> stuff happened. Um, I'm not gonna get into that, but um, I mean, she was also kind, sweet, and everything. It's just, uh, it's kind of sad, you know, losing these friendships, but like, you know, it wasn't meant to be. So, what can I do? I think the toxic ones can be secretive. But they are just not open, you know, they are not open, they are like closed off. <laughs> We're gonna move to Gemini and... Well, I have a story that I could tell. Um, <laughs> the title is... Great Conversation and Sex, but that's about it. Yeah, that's how I would describe Gemini. My god, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Jesus. Sandra, I'm sorry. You're amazing, okay? The homework thing really works. I love to surprise my Gemini friend. She gets pretty excited when I teach her things or show, or show I took the time to learn something she's interested in. We can talk for hours. I mean, that's true with Geminis. In bed, it's anything goes. My Sagittarius adventurous nature and her willingness to try or do just about anything makes for the most amazing sex. I wish I could keep her forever, but I just don't see it happening. Great sex and conversations, but we are 
total opposites and don't have a chance of anything else to be fun while it lasts. I would have kept her, you know? Because, like, if, if the relationship doesn't work out in the end, then at least you learn something from it, right? It's just funny, like, how um, Gemini's can talk sometimes, or, like, the way they use words. It's, for me, it's kind of fascinating when, like, a Gemini talks. Like, they know how to use words. How would I say? Okay, so the toxic ones... I wouldn't say that Gemini's are two-faced. I would say that's more like... Like Pisces. You know, toxic Pisces. Like, they can be very two-faced. But, like, Gemini's are not two-faced. They are just, like... They can be very selfish and only think about themselves, but... Just move on to Cancer. Unhappily married Cancer. Don't go for people who are married. Why would you do that? I have this co-worker that we have be become extremely close on both sides. Our relationship is more than friendship, but, but not one I would consider as an actual boyfriend thing. So it's like a fling. You mean like a fling? We just have a lot in common and talk about everything from movies, music, camping, future goals, morals, and yes, even us. <laughs> Why? Is I'm telling you, everything is about sex when it comes to like zodiac sign. Like, why is everybody so obsessed with sex? Like, chill the f out, Jesus. Just chill. He's become like a close girlfriend only. He's a guy and a married one at that. He's unhappily married, but I'm divorced. We spent our breaks and lunches together, but only because he was the one. Initiate them first. He's a very good man, I respect him a lot, I think, because even though things are bad at home, he hasn't cheated on his wife. He did. What are you thinking about? He did, Jesus. I highly suspect his wife has, because is what she has she has told him almost in black and white. She told him that she could and that there wasn't a thing he could do about it. If she did, to me, that says that either she already did or that she was about to. My friend can't understand why she won't just be straight with him and tell him that she done the deed. I told him, duh, he could use it against her in divorce court. If it got to that point, he becomes very angry just talking about the issue and I suggest counseling, but he says that they have been there and done that and nothing changes. She is secretly never comes home on time from work and no one knows where she's at. She constantly accuses him of cheating on her, which he never has. I would know. He did. <laughs> he, he just did. What the f are you talking about? My friend and I, are, and I are mutually attracted to each other. Never once has ever crossed any lines with me that would disrespect his wife. Money is constantly missing on her end, and there is hardly any bedroom action, but I believe he hangs on sphere for the child they had together. Still in hopes that things will change. Question 1. I'm a Taurus woman and want to know what is the best way to support my friend the cancer in this situation. I love this. This is, uh, like, another thing when you meet a toxic Taurus. They just want to have someone else's, um... I don't know, man. I'm sorry. How do I let him know that I like him more than a friend if things don't work out with his wife? You just leave him and find someone better. That's how you do it. It's not your issue to fix, like, it's not your problem, it's their problem, so you shouldn't be the one fixing it. You know, like, they should be the one doing it for themselves, because, like, come on, you're not their... You're not their parent, right? I have a cousin, she's, um, cancer. She's amazing, you know. Um, <laughs> she can be sometimes, like, dramatic, you know. She's very sensitive, emotional. Um, she had a lot of trashy guys, like 
you know, she always like attracts trashy guys to her. Like she's also very beautiful and everything. And she has like, she literally has everything, you know. So it's always like, you know, she already has this and that. So like, why would she like have low standards? Like she should really have high standards. There was another cancer, not any, not not a family member. It was a guy I was texting with, and he was so obsessed with sex. Like that guy was like, I stopped talking to him at one point. I don't know when. I just just stopped talking to him. I was like, get off my, you know. Um, and then a friend of mine. She was like, so there was this guy, right? She. So there was this guy, he he was also, he's also a cancer, and so basically, this guy, he was actually a player, you know, and I also trusted him, and I was, like, so shocked when I found it, found it out, like, that uh, he basically just used her for sex, so, like, toxic cancer is, can, a toxic cancer manipulates so easy. That you don't even see it. Be careful with toxic cancers. Okay, so I'm a Leo. Hi. I I mean I'm kinda on the cusp, like a Leo and Virgo, but like I'm more of a Leo uh, than a Virgo actually. <sighs> because I'm crazy. Okay, I, I chose this because it was funny when I like read it first because I was like, hmm. This is not really me, but I'm going to get later into it. How to seduce a Leo woman. So you probably already heard Leos absolutely love attention. Not always. I think everybody loves attention. I mean, do I love attention? I mean, sometimes, like, you know, I mean, I wouldn't even mind if my partner would, like, text me every day. Um... Because I just, I don't know, I, just, I wouldn't find them annoying. <sighs> they love being looked at and admired and looked at with as tough. They are the perfect prize you just won. Telling them you love something about them, like their skin or how soft their face is, can make them feel adored and that's the easiest method. How soft their face? Okay, that's a bit... Depending on how the woman is, since... No two are the same. She may want to be touched, not nece necessarily sexually, at least not right away, but a simple caress on their cheek or slowly rubbing their arm while looking them in the eyes can be a great term for... Um, I mean, maybe for her, but I, I don't agree. However, even though on the outside you appear to be fearless and outgoing without caring what others think on the inside you may find a frightened kitten who is kind of moving at a fast pace and may feel uncomfortable and may even start thinking they are being pressured into doing something they don't want to do which can be bad for you because her first instinct will be to run away i mean everybody like everybody experiences stress you know leo's can't be always, like, confident, you know, because also, like, Leo's gonna have a day where they just feel shit and they just, they just don't want to be, you know, showing off because they feel like, oh, I don't want to do this now, you know, like, I'm just not in the mood. It's not about, like, they are scared, it's just, like, maybe the toxic ones, yes, but uh, non-toxic ones are, like, they just... They always do a lot of stuff. Like, they always, always do a lot of thing, and they do this and that. And then there are days where they're just like, leave me alone. And then the next day, they're like, okay, you know what? Let's suck, you know? You can be also complicated, okay? They can be complicated as well. One thing I would say when a Leo is in bad mood, then just talk to them. You know, uh, don't pressure them or anything, because when you. They actually not frightened by you, but they are annoyed by you, like, if you pressure them. Like, it's not about, like, being frightened. It's just, like, you're annoying. Stop talking to me. The third and probably most risky method is to be straightforward and <laughs> dirty, okay? <laughs> it is possible 
that your Leo wants you to be rough with her, but at the same time, it is not in the Leo's personality usually fun to get down right away. Okay, that's true. Um, they like teasing and foreplay, and above all, Leo's like to be treated just like their sign, the king of the jungle. This basically means they want to be treated important, like getting them isn't just a game, but an honor. They want to know they can have real feelings from you, not just seduction and sex. It's probably not best to have one nice fan with a Leo woman. I would say that um, don't abuse a Leo because, like, <laughs> they're gonna be depressed. For example, like, I... I mean, there are Leos in my life, and like, I try always to like not be. Uh, how would I say not be like shitty to them? Because I know how it, that feels like when somebody's like disrespecting you. I know how that feels like, so I don't do that to them either. A lot of Leos, because they are ruled by the sun, they are just like they are walking sunshine, and it's just I don't know. Every Leo just swarms my heart. I don't know why. It's just weird. But they do. Toxic Leos are like very dramatic, you know. They always like when I get into people's business, whatever they're annoying. I'm gonna move on to Virgo now. The title is Virgo Man is Driving Me Crazy. Okay, well, that's, um, that's sad. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio girl, and I have a big problem with the Virgo man. We are seeing each other two to three a month, and it's just because of sex. He's a great guy, funny, smart, and good-looking, and I can see that when we are together that he enjoys. What does he enjoy? He's tender and pays me full attention. We are so attracted to each other. It's not just physical, we can talk for hours and make jokes. The problem is that we are seeing each other like this for nine months and I have started to feel something more for him than attraction. I will talk with him about that, but the problem is that when he, we have started this, he has told me that he doesn't want anything else but sex. That I shouldn't expect nothing more than that from him. You shouldn't. He just wants to have sex, that's it. Virgos, like, I think the toxic Leos don't complicate things. They don't send you mixed signs. The toxic ones send you mixed signs. I was good with that, but there's always but. I have tried to be patient and to show him that I'm not seeing no one else. I should mention that he, from time to time, tells me that I should date other guys too. I should mention that five years ago he was told by a girl that he was well very much and to make things worse. That happened soon after his father died. Oh my god, okay, wow. <laughs> Poor guy. Since then, he hasn't been in a relationship, and I can say that he's not seeing other girls. So please, if someone has some good advice, have to make this serious, I would be grateful. Maybe leave him. Like I think I wouldn't try to fix him because like you can't you can't fix anyone. It should be them fixing their problems. That's it. If I think he just really wants to have sex and nothing else. And also his dad died. <laughs> the girl broke up with him like, fuck me. Poor guy. Maybe he's still hurt. Like, maybe it's just a rebound relationship, you know? You know better, Scorpio. Come on. But that was it for today. So like Virgo was like the last one and I think I forgot something there. And I don't know how I did that, but like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, Orchi. Uh, because she's a Virgo and also like a little friend of mine, she's also a Virgo. And there was a guy that I wanted him to be my best friend, right? He's also a Virgo, but he's the toxic one. He, he was always like so buttered and just pessimistic about everything. Or she, you know, my best friend, she's like the best, like, I love talking with her, like, if I have a problem, she's there. If she has a problem, I'm there for her. I'm gonna make this video into two parts, um, and the next video is gonna be about, like, you know, Libra to Pisces. Yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna go. Uh, you take care of yourself. Um, have fun. Enjoy 2022. 
um, I don't know, maybe don't get hurt or like get hurt, uh, be better, <laughs> learn something from it. And uh, don't take life that seriously. Try to just make everything ironical.